We're here today with Brendan Polanco, the director of our music video, Fly Free, which is out now on YouTube. You can go check it out. Today we're gonna to be talking about how we filmed it and all the fun stuff that we did during the filming. Yay! Brandon! <laughs> Woo! Galactivators! Woo! <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi guys. It's Hi. good to talk to you all today. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here with us. Yes! Oh, <laughs> so give the uh give them a little background of uh your expertise as okay. a filmmaker. Cool. Well uh I am a filmmaker. I run a production company called Writer's Block Entertainment that I started many, many moons ago with a short film that I directed with uh, Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad. It was kind of where a lot of my movie making started. I uh, did that back in 2012 and I made the short film called Writer's Block back when we were working on another movie and there was a hurricane that hit called Hurricane Sandy and he had an impromptu writing competition and I wrote the short film in a night he picked mine and we started making this movie and the movie went out a few like a year later online and it went everywhere and so I built my company around this short film and it's about magical movies and what is the in between between reality and fiction and so I've been doing a lot of that and making bigger movies I just released my first feature film called Earth Mother yay <laughs> which you can get on Amazon Prime and on Tubi um, and it's about a woman who carries Mother Earth's spirit inside of her. And she's called the Earth Mother, and she brings together four people who represent the four elements. That's and beautiful. thank you. Uh, and it's part of a film series. So if you like magic, if you love fairies, and you love witches, and all that stuff, we're working on the sequel called The Four Elements, which we're planning on shooting here in Long Beach. Uh, and maybe, hopefully, y'all will feature some music in the movie. Yeah. That would be really cool, you know. Yes, please. So we'll definitely. Talk about that as we're getting. There's definitely there's a fellow artist, Binks Le Fay, that wanting to bring some music. So I definitely want to bring Long Beach artists into the mix because it's a very Long Beach film, you know. And there's a a real coolness in that. And then um, yeah, I love to tell stories. I write books, and I am a storyteller. Yeah. Yay! So what was it like filming our music video? It was awesome. It was very um, rehabilitating for me as a creative. And what I mean by that is I tend to be very much focused on writing. And so those things take a lot of time to then find the budgets. And I forgot how much fun it was to just make a music video again. I used to make music videos in New York City. I would shoot them with uh, friends and we would get a camera, get a small budget. And we just did these like gorilla videos. And I did them with a lot of different music artists. I love music. Music inspires me. One of the things that I love as a director is working with musicians. I think it's very fun and collaborative and creative. And um, when St. Joe and Krista came and they came and talked to me about this video, I just knew in my heart, I felt the universe was talking through you all saying, you should just have fun and go create right now. And it was fun to just create. And I feel like we made magic and we had fun. And we did it over the course of two days, you know, and we just, one of the things that I loved, there was no pressure. It wasn't trying to be like perfect. It wasn't trying to be anything but just showcasing, I think, A, your love for Long Beach, B, your galactivating magic, and I think C, just having a great time, having fun, and getting to see your fans show up. And this is the thing, just to tell you all, like, I've worked with a lot of different artists, and, um, Usually they're very like closed off sets, but we got to shoot here in Long Beach. And there were so many times people would say, Galactivators! And it was really cool. You have really, you reach people. And that was a lot of fun to be a part of something. You know, I live, I've moved here to Long Beach in 2020. So I've really just been growing in the last four years, getting to know Long Beach. And so to get to work with you all, collaborate with you all, I had a blast. The technical aspects, what was the camera that you were using? Uh, we were doing a black magic cinema camera, the first generation, so it was a 2.5K, um, which uh, we shot with a uh, Vivitar old school like uh, glass and lens, so that's why I love shooting with old vintage lens with this digital camera. It gives it a very retro look, and I think that that's what I love about the sunshine, like the, the real kind of crisp and like 
blasts of golds, especially at the beach sequences on that first day. Mm -hmm. um, I think those look really iconic in the video. It's, it feels very Long Beach. Um, and then we also just had like, you know, I think we shot on some sticks and we kept it handheld, very verite, very simple, wanting it to not be super uh, high tech on this one. I think this one was just kind of presentational. It's like you and your environment. And then he did all the editing. I, I, I am not an editor. I can do it, but it's not my forte. And that was part of like, I think what was fun was that you were so open to wanting to do that. And I think what you did and how you took the direction and also listened to Krista or any point of view, really, I think it felt collaborative. And I think it really kind of comes across in the video. And it's silly too, it's fun. I love, you know what my favorite part is? The shot when y'all are both flying at the beach. Mine I too. love it. And I love that that's what you'll pick for the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. I think it's so iconic. It's so eye-catching. Yeah. You know, that was an idea that we talked about on the second day that we were shooting. And I'm just glad that you all created that. And um, having you both fly, it just feels exactly like the video. Fly free. Mm, yeah, we filmed that right here with this green screen. That you can <laughs> see above here. And we had a fan set up right here blowing this way so it created this wind effect it was really really special and we we both did separate takes me and galactica and i edited them in like that i love that can you tell me some of your uh influences when it comes to making music videos sure um so one of the influences that i felt um that recently is there was this mgmt video that came out about this woman just kind of going around the world and um, she was armless and she ends with the Venus de, de Milo, the statue of the, uh, uh, the armless Venus. And it was so simple and straightforward. And I loved it. I had actually started watching, it came out I think right before we did the first shoot. Uh, oh no, actually it was in between, the first shoot and the second shoot because we did like a few weeks between and because of the holidays and everything. Um, and the first shoot, you know, it was a lot of fun. I was like, I don't, I've never worked with you guys. I don't know what we're gonna do. But, we picked a destination, we're gonna shoot, and we're gonna see. And then you both come in magically dressed, you had a snake. I was like, all right, we're doing this. And I was like, yes. And so it was, it definitely set a tone for what felt like a very Jackson Pollock experience as a filmmaker. Like we're coming in, we're just trying new things. We're gonna see what comes together. No like real like trying to be super, like this is the concept. I think that there was a real freedom creatively for us to express ourselves for me as a filmmaker, for you as artists, and I love that. Um, but when in the between, when I saw this MGMT video, I was like, it's just literally so simple. And it really kept me inspired, and when I think we got together for the second day to shoot this, I really love how simple this video is. I think it's very refreshing, and I actually think there's a lot of imagination to it. And I think that's one of the big influences. Um, I mean, I'm also a huge Michael Jackson fan. Love his videos, would love to do something big and epic like thriller like one day um i love also uh, some of my other videos though that i direct i do this thing that um i feel like i've seen an artist i can't think of every name right now but i love portraitures and i think music videos really live in a portrait frame and i really love like giving music a frame to breathe in visually because i think there's a lot of music videos that cut, 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 cut all the time. And they're like, how many angles can we do? And those are really cool. And if you have a very frenetic song, I think it works. But something that's very symphonic or something that's very moody and long and has an emotional, like having a still frame where you're slowly pushing in, it's great. I did this one video with this artist. He was from the, uh, the show uh, Stomp. Mm -hmm. You all know Stomp? I love that, that movie. Yeah, yeah, that show, the, yeah. The, the, the trash cans and everything. Mm -hmm. And so he, the song, um, it's all about portraits it was about his family his world in new york city and so capturing y'all's love for long beach was a big part of that influence and that was something that i just wanted to showcase and then when you found that spot where you said let's go down to the beach and be on the dock it really felt that was y'all's world and i just felt very thankful to be invited to it that's what we do yoga every day for yoga on the beach what was it like for you, Galactica, filming the music video? Hmm. Well, I really love the sunshine. 
I just wanted to face the sunshine. <laughs> it was so beautiful. And the camera was over here, and I was like, no, don't put it over there. Bring it over here. <laughs> it was back here. And I'm like, I must face the sun. So that was an interesting dynamic. <laughs> and I loved being on the bay, on the water. That was really beautiful. And I loved how you had different ideas, like, let's just do one of you meditating the whole time. And let's take a shot of you just dancing around. And we tried all different things. And, you know, it was easy. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun creating this music video. It really helped us because the whole meaning behind the song is to express yourself, have the freedom to express yourself creatively. And you helped drive that point home with that, with the, with the directing of the video. Definitely, and it was super, super appreciated. Awesome. Well, I mean, I think it was just, it was a chance for us to just try something, to not really, you know, last year was busy, and there was a lot going on, especially towards the end of the year, and you, you had a deadline of trying to get it out by February, and so I think we didn't have a lot of time, especially because when the conversation started. It was we kind of only had a few weeks before we went straight into it so i think we really prepped it in the best way but i also think artistically that's kind of what music does and it's fly free it's a very like straightforward express yourself video and i think that that's what came through i definitely think the next video already i mean do you guys have another video planned or you do you have something on the works coming yeah, up yeah we're where next video is going to be for uh, uh shake that booty Ooh. It's, it's pretty much due on april 1st so we're we're feeling out you know we're, <laughs> we're we're discussing some of the things that we with some of the ideas that we have before this we were taking this video but yeah we could definitely definitely let you in on it and let you know what what our what our plans are and see how we can all work together and make it make it a beautiful thing i love that april 1st that's like right around the corner mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and uh anything else in the future for you um i've got a couple things i'm working on a new movie it's uh, i was kind of telling you about it's called twin flame mm -hmm. and it's a queer love story about two people that meet in college and the life that they create it's a beautiful portrait of queer love it's also a story that i think is for me a very reaction to the politics in the world and i was very surprised that i leaned myself into wanting to introduce that into the story but as i was writing it it gave me a lot of freedom to really imagine again what i think this country could be with a gay president and something <laughs> diverse like a latino gay president mm -hmm. and uh, it's the story of that love and i mean i think it's iconic we see all these presidents and they talk about these stories of their lives so i was like well, why don't we just create that now yeah. yeah so we can then let the people come fill that actually in reality i think we have to imagine it yeah. so it's something that i'm really excited for <laughs> it's something big and writing it into existence writing so into yeah. existence yes. and um so that's something very much on the the horizon and then yeah man i want i've got this tv show and uh i'm trying to work the program with fx on it it's called ancestors and uh you know it's a shaman show i'll just yeah. say that uh, uh, yeah shamans so Excellent. yeah yeah how can people follow you so they can keep updated with your yeah art? you can follow me on instagram at the fairy godfather fairy is spelled f-a-i-r-i-e so at the fairy godfather um, I post everything through there, um, or my website, which is wbeuniverse.com. It's for Writer's Block Entertainment, universe.com. So there's, everything is on there, short films. Uh, we've got music videos on there, and we've got it all. So just go check it out and keep you updated. Awesome. Well, you can check out our music video, Fly Free, on YouTube right now. It's got almost a thousand streams. So thank you so much for streaming it and watching it and sharing with your friends. And we look forward to showing you more music videos throughout the year that we create. Woo! Much love, y'all. Stay Galactivated. Galactivator!